Hello guys, welcome back to Send Crypto. In today's content, uh, we're going to talk about XRP. Uh, we're going to take a look at XRP in terms of a uh, wave analysis, and uh, we're also going to take a look at XRP on a three weeks time frame and a 50 day cycle and all that good stuff, right? So if you're new to our content, uh, don't forget to hit the likes. Don't forget to uh, join our public Telegram group link in the description and all that good stuff, right? The uh, Discord uh, channel uh, link in the description also if you want to basically uh, uh, join the uh, Discord public group, right? So now, uh, you know, we're going to go ahead and take a look at XRP uh, in terms of a uh, wave analysis as we uh, discussed uh, back in November and all that good stuff. What we said was like uh, back in Nova November, the first wave we got right here could be our leading diagonal. It is a very ugly le leading diagonal, but uh, we could, you know, just for now, uh, call it a leading diagonal and uh, a pullback uh, for the uh, wave number two right here. And we're going to be looking for the uh, wave number three up to potentially four dollars. But as of now, we're not going to focus on four dollars. We're just going to focus on the uh, uh, directional move and our next resistance up to basically uh, two dollars, as we said, uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we're going to take a look at it on a quarterly basis and 50 day cycle and why we've been calling for XRP $2 and once we break $2 uh, we're basically going to go for the next like a leg up to the upside potentially you know to some crazy crazy prices okay going into the uh, summer and all that good stuff right so why do you wave uh, analysis is is so important okay the wave analysis is so important because it gives us a directional move it doesn't give you like a an exact target but it can give you like the direction what i mean by direction if you take a look at the first wave right here if we say like that's our wave one right if we if we say that's our wave one right here right wave one okay that's wave two and we're going to be expecting a wave three to the upside how do we de how do we detect the uh, wave three potential uh, target range okay remember it is going to be a target range not a perfect target okay so the target range we're going to be looking forward to the upside it could be it could be at least 1.618 extension of the uh, first wave the first wave was like from uh, just about 10 cents all the way up to basically 80 cents that's our wave one okay now we dump all the way down to like 17 cents right that's our wave two so we put it right there so if we're going to be looking for 1.618 extension it is going to be right there okay on a log scale now okay so many traders okay uh, tend to uh, uh, make make a mistake like not using the uh, log scale i'm going to show you how to use the uh, log scale it is one of the most accurate uh, you know fibonacci extension tool and also the uh, you know most accurate uh, fibonacci uh, uh, you know uh, fibonacci uh, pullbacks and uh, you know retracement you could be uh, using right so 1.618 extension going to be up to $4.50 even like a $4.80 okay of the uh, wave one so our main focus right now it is not $4 it is not three dollars it is not 250 our main focus okay it is going to be right here on the three weeks time frame okay remember the year remember the year three weeks time frame and the fibonacci extension they do not they move together but they don't have to basically uh, you know apply the same rule okay uh, in term of macro scale you know the th the three weeks time frame and the 50 day cycle going to give you directional uh, moves and they're going to give you also you know support and resistance right uh, for instance if you take a look at a uh, xrp on a macro scale right here we could not break this uh you know just about like a you know 50 uh, let's say 60 cents right up to 80 cents range was a macro resistance so if you do not take a look at it on a three weeks time frame it is not going to be clean you're not going to be able to see it and you're going to be panicking whenever we get rejected right here as we said back in 2019 we did say cleanly we're going to drop down here we're going to drop down from uh, just about like a, you know right here from like a 50 cents all the way down to 10 cents and we're going to pump back up to like 80 cents and we're going to drop back down we did call it okay we did not break the lows right here but we did basically uh, get what we've been anticipating over like the next 18 months right now what we're seeing is like uh, on the on the three weeks time frame we already broke the resistance right here just about 47 cents and the top resistance is like 80 cents so our next resistance to pay attention to on the three weeks basis right it is going to be two dollar range okay 
if like we can break uh, two dollars right here it is likely uh, we're going to see the uh, wave analysis next right which is going to be our next topic once we break uh, uh, two dollars okay we're going to be looking for the next wave to the upside up to basically 450 and so on right so something to keep in mind right now let's take a look at the uh, 50 day cycle as you can see the uh, 50 day cycle looks pretty clean at the same time uh, in term of like a wave analysis and also in term of uh, you know uh, extensions right if we want to use our extension you're going to apply the uh, same same setup right swing low to swing high down to swing low you can see like just about like a 450 going to be 1.618 extension okay so let's say that's your first time using um, uh, the uh, Fibonacci extension make sure to double click on it right once you double click on it scroll down right and make sure you check the uh, fib levels based on log scale okay if you do not check on it if you don't check that if you don't check the box right here right let's say i uncheck it right if you uncheck it you're not going to be able to see all of that good stuff guys that's why most people basically miss the uh, trend from btc right from 21 uh, 21k all the way up to 40k okay let's go ahead and take a look at btc btc so i'm going to show you exactly why most people basically missed it right so let's go back to a uh, fib levels fib level based on log scale right click on it you see the difference right so let's go ahead and take a look at btc very quickly okay let's go ahead and take a look at it on coinbase so if you take a look at it on the macro scale right here let's use the uh, three weeks time frame so most let's take a look at the uh, three days time frame. okay so the three days is going to give you the uh, resistances and all that good stuff right so if you take a look at it right here from swing low you see it is very very important to pay attention to it because otherwise uh, you know most uh, you're going to follow uh, most uh, basically uh, uh, most uh, uh, bulls and you're going to miss uh, basically the trend because most bulls going to be uh, definitely going to be using like the uh, regular log scale and they basically going to miss the uh, trend okay so uh, basically if you take a look at it right here you know swing low swing high down to swing low okay right here we nailed it exactly 1.618 extension 42 to 44 guess what we got rejected right there but if you remove the uh, uh, you know if you remove the uh, log scale right you uncheck on it guess what most bulls right there they were calling for 21k that's why uh, most people miss the boat because after we hit 21k 21.6 right they were waiting for what a rejection they were waiting for a rejection but if we switch it back to the log scale the log scale was saying moon boys hold tight okay the uh, the uh, rejection is right there not right here okay so if you notice well most analysts okay they're now waiting for what they're waiting for the weekly 21 ema okay they're waiting for the weekly 21 ema because why they were waiting since like 13k okay so now the weekly 21 ema instead of buying at 13k right they're going to be buying probably at 60k or even 65k because the weekly 21 is moving very very fast and you know very soon the weekly 21 going to be over this you know resistance level and if price action dips right after you know a retest of 80 90k definitely the weekly 21 going to be uh, supporting the price so basically the reason why i'm showing you the uh, fibonacci extension and the log scale uh, you know it is basically not to uh, uh, use not to use the uh, regular scale and be missing out on the next pump and all that good stuff right on xrp right something to uh, basically keep in mind right so now let's go back to xrp uh, and take a look at xrp btc very quickly so if you take a look at xrp btc on a seven days basis we basically break in the 100 ema right here okay the uh, seven days basis is going to close like in two days right uh on thursday right on the 15th we're going to close the candle right here and once we close above it that could be the real moon shot okay that could be the real moon shot okay now let's take a look at on a weekly basis on a weekly basis once again pre looking pretty good closing on a seven days basis above 100 ema could basically help the bulls to close above the 100 ema on a, uh, you know on a weekly basis 
all right something to basically keep in mind that's the move we've been anticipating over the last few weeks we said the first pump don't buy it wait for the retest right right here and basically you're going to get a three day a three days divergence guys i'm giving you guys one of the best analysis guys i told you this since like november right i told you right here since january actually don't buy the first pump it's going to pump even before the pump we said wait for the bullish divergence right there guys right there guys beautiful beautiful move so next resistance versus btc going to be at 3500 up to uh, basically uh, uh you know 4000 area right here another basically 30 percent to a 50 percent move uh going into the uh, you know uh you know the next couple of weeks and all that good stuff right so guys that's all i wanted to cover for xrp if you're new to our content don't forget to hit the likes don't forget to uh, basically uh, uh, join some crypto if you want if you don't know how to find the uh, links okay just go ahead and click on in any of these videos right you're gonna be able to find your links in the desk in the description okay uh you know public telegram group link right here discord group link right there if you want to basically upgrade to the uh, premium group you can definitely upgrade to the uh, premium group and all that good stuff all right guys thanks a lot for watching